welcome dear students to another session of learning grammar today's class will be learning about linkers uh, this is something new to us linkers the word the word linkers is new to us not the examples that are there not the words that are used as linkers so they are not at all new to us in any way see from, we have been learning about linkers from many you know years probably from class 1 2 3 when we have started framing sentences we have learned about linkers then only but we haven't heard as i told you this word called the linker or the devices cohesive devices so let us just learn how we have learned you know uh, in the year you know in the younger classes like class 2 class 3 when you were made to write down sentences and join them together the first linker that we have all of us used are and okay that was one linker that was very popularly used and even today when you know when we start writing answers we have students who struggle to get the words you know fluently and they start uh, writing and everywhere so their answer has more and than anything else so even today we have this as a very commonly used linker we had used this and to join two sentences later on we also learned that one of the linkers that could be used was also then it went on to then gradually we learned that we could use the word but as linkers too as a cohesive device as a conjunction later on when we started writing letters we started giving reasons when i leave letter so as you know as i was not feeling well so that also is a linker as is a linker i am not keeping well so i could not finish my homework the word so is also a linker i have done this therefore i request you to give me a leave therefore the word therefore also is a linker or a conjunction we started learning conjunctions in this manner the first one being most commonly used to more or slightly more you uh, know uh, uh, abstract ones uh, stronger words some slightly difficult words we also understood that we have after later then i say something like initially all of them they come under the category of conjunctions conjunctions need not necessarily join sentences it need not be like only and but also then therefore or not necessary only that conjunctions are also words they are which are used to join sentences to give a better meaning okay they are given they are used to give better meaning after these conjunction basic conjunctions we also learned about uh, several other words you know like we have the two link words like you know for example we have so and that okay in a sentence i have to use both of them as linker for example the weather is so cold outside the weather is so cold that uh, we don't feel like going out anywhere it is so hot or, or let me come to another example um your handwriting is so bad that we can hardly understand anything so when i in, use so here not this so so here it gives reasoning okay it gives a reason but here it is just used as an adjective so bad you know that it is something like that and uh, her voice is so sweet that nobody wants to stop listening to her songs so these can be used as linkers also we also have something like neither nor and either or either and or okay these also could be used as linkers and they also are like you know they are pairs they have to be used in pairs only only in a sentence whenever i use the first part it is mandatory that i use the second part and complete the sentence we have another beautiful one like not only not only but also 
not only but also no like for example uh, the linkers not only join the sentences but also enhances the language the beauty of the language so not only and but also is one of those linkers in uh, the exercises here we learn about linkers and what are the functions that they do using not only but also is one way of telling how to use linkers as i was giving you an example uh, there are many things which not only link for example the linkers not only link the words but also enhance the beauty enhance the richness of the language so all these can be used as linkers remember one thing linkers not they just do not link the sentences they give us a comparison they give us a contrast they give us a kind of conditioning they also help us to understand the words better okay they comprehend the words better they also are used to summarize the thoughts finally when i say later therefore finally initially and lastly all those they help us to summarize the thoughts also so we have linkers and their functions also in your textbook there are you know, uh, you know many uh, concepts many um, headings under which linkers have been categorized so if you want to understand about the linkers better i think on page number 66 you have a list of linkers 66 you can go through them just understand how good these linkers are and how to categorize them according to the function they do so this one was an introduction about linkers now i have written an example wherein you will understand how linkers are used to add the sentences to join the sentences and also to give a particular reason to give a particular function or that my mother was an extraordinary person and i should speak above all of her kindness towards me but i'll tell you a secret of mine because i feel somewhat guilty for not having been a happy man in order to give her a deserved happiness therefore i feel i should have been more understanding of her there are four linkers that are underlined and all these four linkers underlined here they have a different function they perform different activities <clears throat> the first one my mother was an extraordinary person i should speak about her kindness towards me these two sentences are linked together by the uh, linker and and the fun function of this and here it means that it is adding up the qualities of the mother of borges mother we know that this part is from borges and the borges interview it talks about his feelings about his mother also so there are two qualities of the mother added up together so and so the linker and it does it gives us the function of addition the second one but i'll tell you a secret of mine so he 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 stops there and gives a contrast so therefore but is used in connection with contrasting nature everything is fine my mother is kind natured but i'll tell you i have a secret i'm going to tell you that secret okay because i feel somewhat guilty for not having given been a man in order to give her happiness i feel somewhat guilty so he is giving the linker uh, because so this because it talks about reason he says i have a secret i'll tell you because i feel guilty he is trying to give us the reason why he is guilty he is guilty because he has not given he has not been a happy man in order to give her a deserved happiness he has not given a deserved happiness to his mother and therefore he feels guilty that he is not a happy man at all so in order to it talks about the purpose he is talking about the purpose why he is not kept his mother happy at all therefore i feel i should have been more understanding of her finally he summarizes he summarizes all his feelings towards his mother and says i should feel that i should have been more considerate to my mother i should have been more uh, kind towards my mother so these are the words that are used as linkers and this is the function that they are doing here okay linkers as i told you not only link the words they just not 
link the sentences together but they also act as words which give you no know, perform lot of functions here they give us the reason they give us the purpose they also summarize everything they contrast contradict and addition all these works functions are done by linkers okay in the exercises that we'll be following we will have uh, words that we have you have to uh, you know fill in as linkers so the exercises are more interesting we'll be working on two or three of them in the following uh, class in the following uh, session so you will understand how to fill in the linker in your examinations okay i have tried to squeeze in three examples on this board uh, so that we can quickly finish off with linkers uh, the examples that uh, are from your question papers so <clears throat> the questions will be in this manner there will be a paragraph i'll tell you again usually it will be from your lessons only and there will be four linkers that will be given to you sometimes in a very confused manner sometimes it will be very neat and plain so that you can easily fill in the linkers so you'll have to read the uh, sentence and then choose the appropriate linker and fill into it so there are two ways of writing your answer let me finish off how you present it okay so there are two ways of writing your answers one if you have sufficient time you can write down the whole paragraph with the linkers in between the correct linkers and underline the linkers okay please do not forget to underline the linkers if you just write the whole paragraph without and highlighting the linker it will you know get make the uh, evaluator little agitated we you know we, our flow or you know it gets cut so we need to finish it off in a hurry and we need to finish it off as early as possible because once we start reading the paragraph at uh, the th the flow of answers it just reduces so the teachers usually evaluators they usually become agitated when you know some the answers are not properly marked so don't give room for that if you have sufficient space sufficient time i'm sorry you can write down the whole paragraph and underline the linker very leisurely you can do this <clears throat> people who find that no i don't have to waste time on all these things there's only one option for you you will have to write down the question number correctly and then write the linkers one below the other this one below the other don't even write the previous word and the after word and all those things just write the correct answer one below the other and just leave it that is it so either either the first one or the second one whichever option you feel is better you can go into this in you can go in, into that kind of answering the question we'll start with the first example the young man took refuge in don gonzalo's house he went to seville dash then came to madrid he wrote letters to laura dash they were intercepted by her parents dash in despair he joined the army dash he met a glorious death in the war so this is few lines bits here and there taken from the lesson from the skit um, a sunny morning these are the linkers now we will try to match this put this into the sentence the linkers are but and at last then it's very essential for us to read the linkers first and try to understand where these linkers fit in the paragraph the young man took refuge in don gonzalo's house he went to seville dash came dash then came to madrid so can but come here no and and then came to madrid i think that seems to be suitable so let us just have and as one option at last cannot be an option at all because at last it has to come in the end only then then came to madrid is again an exclusion it cannot be possible at all so the first option is and and i write it here and then he came to madrid he wrote letters to laura dash they were intercepted then no but yes so it could be but they were intercepted by her parents then like like again and that answer came off from me you know from my word from my mouth dash in despair so it has to be then in despair then in despair 
he joined the army lastly at last at last he met a glorious death in the war okay this is the way you will have to fill in the linkers all this filling in linkers uh, trying to understand and analyze which linker suits in which blank <clears throat> all these things you can do in the first 15 minutes of your question paper uh, first uh, sorry examination time duration the 15 minutes that will be given to you to read the question papers you feel 15 minutes what to do with that in that time you can just analyze and understand please do not mark anything in your question paper you are prohibited from doing that so it, at least you can make a note of it in your mind so you will understand no or probably you can just write down the first letter somewhere in your answer paper like for example this one we have the uh, acronym for this as a b and t and uh, a l so this one you'll just write down somewhere you know, but please see that it does not go to the notice of the invigilator or your supervisor or the squad who comes otherwise you will be thrown out of the examination hall this one you have to keep it in your mind or at least somewhere you know in your mind at least is better so that one will help you to save time when you are writing the answers so 15 minutes of your examination you will have to make use to write all these answers moving on to the second question so once you find you know do two or three examples like this you will find that the exercise whole exercise is very easy The kingdom of Monaco was a peaceful and a peace loving country dash they did not feel the need to keep an army or a police force <clears throat> dash once a murder was committed there dash they were forced to take look for ways to try and punish the criminal dash they decided to give him a pension and send him away so these are the sentences and the linkers are but eventually so and then eventually means finally at last in the end okay so what i should be doing now first one uh, kingdom of monaco was a peaceful and peace loving country so they did not feel the need to keep an army so that will be the first answer so they did not feel the need to keep an army or a police force then dash once but once not then once so it is but once there was a murder that was committed and later on it will be then then they were forced to look for ways to try and punish the criminal eventually they decided eventually they decided to give him a pension and send him away okay so this one and i told you once you do this once or twice you will get more confidence about solving linkers the last example here dash all this rivalry between tamanna and baswaya looked like healthy competition dash it took a new turn dash it rose to such a pitch that there was no land left in the village for them to buy all land belonged to dash tamanna or baswaya look at the linkers either to begin with gradually however okay if you think if you get of an answer first itself you can write the last sentence for example all land belong to dash tamanna or baswaya so the option here is very clear it has to be either so let us fill it off first so that you are left with very less options to fill the other three so this is done either is done now that the first one so the options here are to begin with gradually however so you can't put all these two in the first so it has to be to begin with to begin with all the competition all the rivalry between tamanna and baswaya look like healthy competition then however it took a new turn so that could be a better one however however it took a new turn and finally you are left with gradually and you will fill it to write it as gradually it rose to such a pitch that there was no land left in the village at all so i told you you will have to practice you will have to write one or two of them on your own it was like you know learning or discussion discussing and then writing the answer if you write the answers on your own if you write them on your own 
try to get it properly. I think linkers will be one of the best ones that you can uh, finish your examination with. So linkers again it is for 4 marks. Uh, the beauty of it itself is this one. Almost all the questions here they have they are either for 3, 4, 5 marks and they are very simple ones. You can definitely um, finish it off with great style. So I hope linkers is very well understood by you people. Mm, there is nothing much to talk about linkers. Linkers are very simply to be done. So all the best to you. We will meet in another session of grammar learning. So good evening uh, students. I hope uh, this session was also uh, taken care of. Uh, you, you went through on children and the linkers and uh, hopefully good enough uh, points have gone home so that you can make good score out of it. Uh, one food for thought is uh, whenever you prepare, I do not think you have to prepare all the 24 hours or 12 hours, 6 hours, not necessary because it is English. But then I think in the beginning I had told you one textbook reading which is a should and must for you and please keep one lesson per day that should be more than enough so that you can have you know good recap of the content you remember the points now as we take the lesson you understand see this is where i forgot this is what i you know i had to, i had to remember uh, so those things need to be kept in mind and accordingly you will complete and uh, uh, hopefully you will recollect the thought out there so we are signing off from here uh, hopefully your day was good with the sessions what you attended um, hope to meet you tomorrow uh, but then wherein the thought comes in is uh, you know uh, what's happening around you please take care of yourself first uh, this issue of covid and uh, whatever the insecure feeling we carry about the coming future your academics uh, please have a stable mind uh, when you think good uh, good things will come to you this is 100 percent true i believe in that because uh, i follow that i'm i'm the happiest person out there okay so believe that it things are going to happening th things are going to happen right and that's how it's going to go so hopefully we're going to come out with very interesting thought for tomorrow uh, we're planning for uh, 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 the lesson uh, Vandana Shiva it's not really the name of the lesson but I think we are so used to coming out with the name of, of lesson of Vandana Shiva I should say uh, everything I need to know I learned from the forest uh, take it from my students this is one lesson you know if ever it is coming in the question paper evaluators will be bent on to see this answer in your answer sheet those 98 plus students please focus on to this particular answer you have to get it done because uh, this is one question I think uh, the present day scenario the present day situation what we are facing you can literally connect it to COVID and write your experience out there you can literally connect it to why we should save nature the answers can be brought in there so one recap of the lesson and the revision of the same will be happening tomorrow do not go to feel that ah Vandana Shiva and it may go boring no we are going to make it as interesting as possible take care of yourself Thank you.